So I'm going to show how to create a project with Mix and then do some TDD with this, this project. Let me first, I'm going to, I'm using Windows 10. I have Ubuntu installed, so I'm going to open Ubuntu. I already have Elixir installed here. I'm waiting for Ubuntu to show the shell. I show here Elixir minus V. It shows me that I have Elixir 1.10.3 installed. So I'm going to the folder Elixir and I'm going to type mix. Let me, let me see. I can't increase the font here. Yes, I can do it. Let me put it 36. Let me clear. Now, mix new. I'm going to call this project BMI. Why BMI? Because the ah, I, I already have a, a BMI project. Let me move the old project BMI to BMI old. Now I'm going to add mix new BMI. It's a project to create a BMI calculator. So you see it with mix mix already comes with Elixir. It's, it creates a project with with mix new. I, I'm telling mix to create a new project called BMI and it creates a folder BMI with all those files files inside. So it tells me to do CD BMI and run mix test. Let's see. It's going to be okay. Okay. Now I'm going to call code dot. So I'm going to open Visual Studio Code to see the files that were generated by Mix. It's going to show here the files. There are a lot of files. It already comes to it. See here. So there is this file. The, the two important files for this example are bmi.x in the folder lib and bmi test.exs in the folder test. This file, the, oh sorry, this file bmi test.exs contains the tests. So you see that increase the font just a little bit. What's a test in Elixir? It uses the X unit test framework. It has the keyword test, tests to end. Here is a description for the test. Here is the assert. And here it is what is it's exactly your test. For, for instance, in this case, the hello function returns world. So here it asserts that bmi.relo returns the atom world. I'm not going to use doc test here, so I'm going to erase this. I'm going to erase this. I'm not going to use world here. What I'm going to do is let's let me go back to the BMI. I'm going to use this site, it's going to be in the description. I'm going to use the metric system. And suppose that your height is 108 80 centimeters and you weight. Um, let me see, 70 kilograms. So you BMI, your body max index is 21.6, which 
is normal weight it is this category here so i'm going to write a test that says the the emi of a person 108 centimeters and centimeters and 70 kilograms is 21.6 and i'm going to um, how compute i'm going to you see with tdd i'm going i'm doing design here i'm saying that i'm going to have a function compute that receives the the height of a person and the weight and it should should return the BMI for that person. Let me hide the, the files here. So I already have what I need for the test. Oh, just I think oh, I miss a max here. Ah, I don't need to go to the. I, I'm going to open a terminal here, and I'm going to run mix test. Oh, there's a failure. Why? Because the compute function is undefined. Let me hide this. Now I'm going to write the compute function. It receives the height and the weight. And what should it return? 21.6 for the big step of passing this first test it's enough to it's enough that it returns 21.6 if i run now it's going to pass the test so one test zero failures so it works yes it works for this example let me just add, add another test. Now I'm going to get someone who is 170 centimeters, centimeters and 90 kilograms. So BMI is 31.1. I'm going to write another test here. 190. No, it's sorry. It's 179. 179, 31.1. I'm going to repeat this here. And I'm going to run the tests again. I just need to view the terminal again. Now I have two tests, but one failure because the because of uh, I have used a practice which is called babe steps that just uh, it, it, the the first version of this function just returned the twenty one point six, but now I really have to calculate the BMI. How do I calculate BMI? Here is the formula. It's the weight in kilograms divided by the square of the height. Um, so the weight here, the, the height I'm, I'm receiving in centimeters, the weight in kilograms. So I have to divide the weight in kilograms by the so I have first I have to calculate the height in meters, which is the height in centimeters divided by 100. Then I do the square. Oh, sorry, the square of the height in meters. Oh, meters again, it's missing. Let me format it. Let's see save. Let me see the terminal again. Mix test. Oh, now 
I use I, I had only one failure now I have two failures why because I'm not see the, the only difference are the, the numbers the digits after the first decimal so what I need to do here is just I'm going to take the BMI and I'm going to do the BMI times 10 then I'm going to use trunk what does trunk do let's go back to the terminal and run IX so that I can show what trunk does. Trunk does this. If I have 2015.6 and a lot of numbers, it gets me only, it gives me only 15. If I multiply this by 10 and then divide by 10, you see I get only this part of the, the whole number. So that's what I need. Times 10 divided by 10. Oh, I have to save it. I go to the terminal again. I have to get out of IX. Now I run mix test. Okay, the two tests pass it. So that's what I needed. I have two tests. You see how, how I did test driven development. First I wrote the test. Oops, I wrote the test, then I wrote the code and there's much more regarding this i'm going to leave this this site and this site it's in the description um there is this great book about test driven development and this other this is the maybe the, the original book the book on test driven development by kent beck this guy, Mauricio Anish, he's a professor in the Netherlands. He has written some books and papers about test driven development. And if you want to learn more, much more about Elixir, you can go to Groxio Learning. They have Elixir training, language courses like the, the one about Elixir. They use the Dreyfus Learning model and they they have some videos free on their youtube channel like this one phoenix phoenix live view tetris in elixir so that's it thank you very much